quick. On my main Facebook account. I wish we could share this on accounts. <laughs> All right, you can go. It's fine. All right. Well, it looks like we are up. I'm seeing, seeing it on the screen now. So awesome. Um, give it just a second. Yeah, it, it's going. So awesome. Uh, thanks for joining. If you're joining in live, give me a hashtag live down below. If you're catching the replay, hashtag replay. Uh, we're just getting started here. I have Jelani on. We're going to talk about YouTube marketing um, and getting you some traffic to your affiliate offers, to your own sites, whatever it may be. So Jelani, uh, just if you wanted to do a quick introduction, let everybody know where you're joining us from. And yeah. For sure. So my name is Jelani. As William has mentioned, I am a marketer um, by day. I work at ClickFunnels. Um, by night, I do like side hustles and mainly affiliate marketing. Um, I got into this whole entire world from uh, just a random article I found. Um, and then I started drop shipping, made some money there. And then I was like, this is annoying. I don't want to like fulfill orders. So then I just went into affiliate marketing where you really don't have to do much. You just kind of promote things and you make money. So that is how I got started with all this. And now I found my place, I would say. Um, I think I found my thing and that thing is YouTube. I love making videos and um, explaining things to people, tutorials, how to stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so that's what I like to do. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I had similar experience with e-commerce. I did it for a little bit and uh, doing drop shipping and then even ordering stuff and <laughs> storing it in my garage and it's like yeah this is it's so much easier just to do affiliate marketing yeah. so i agree with you on that so much easier <laughs> so, <laughs> so um you you know you said that you, you found your place in your home kind of with youtube what what led you to youtube how did you find youtube as a marketing yeah app for you so um so what happened was actually Back in high school, I used to collect sneakers. Um, so like I was a sneaker collector and I would like get sneakers before they released to the public. Um, and then I was like, you know what, let's just make a YouTube video and see what happens. So that was back in like 2010, 2011. Um, and that video eventually got like 7,000 plays, just like me unboxing things. And I had this whole channel of like, unboxing shoes and I'm unboxing like different things that I would get. And then um, that was like my first introduction to YouTube. I really didn't understand it. I didn't understand algorithms and like what you need to do to boost things. It was just like, I put up something and people found it somehow. Um, so I stopped doing that. Like I stopped collecting sneakers and I kind of just stopped doing the YouTube thing. Um, and then when I got into affiliate marketing, I actually, actually when I got into drop shipping, I had a Facebook group and I had people like saying, you should put these things up on YouTube, like how to find products and all this different things. So I was like, all right, cool. So I made a video and then that got like 200 plays or something. And then the next video I made without really pushing it um, was about Manny chat actually. And like, that was when like bots were just getting like, I guess big, I guess you can say. Um, and I made this video, just like a simple video, how to set up a bot and just how to drive traffic to the bot so that you can make more sales. And then that like just exploded somehow, like, I guess, cause people were just like, I don't understand many chat. How do you use it? And again, I didn't know algorithms. I didn't know like anything to boost it and how to get that video in front of people. People just found it. Um, and then after that, I was like, oh snap, this is really cool. Like this can be something that I can do and make money off of if you just know how to, you know, position yourself. So um, I started like looking into things like how to make videos profitable and also how to get more viewers. Um, and then I understood like, all right, well, you have to have good content, you have to have um, great positioning and you have to say things to trigger people to actually take action, call to actions. Same thing like when you're writing copy, you still have to do the same thing in videos. Um, and that's what like kind of led me to, all right, this is what I want to do in terms of putting out content and understanding that once you make a video it's up there forever which is i didn't i didn't get that until um spencer meekham said digital real estate um and then i started to actually see it like i made a video like 10 months ago but that 10 that video is 10 months old but it's still making me money today um and that's what's so cool about youtube is like it doesn't matter when you make the video because 
as once once you make it up there um as long as you keep it up there and that can make you money for years to come um because people are going to just keep finding you which is super cool nice yeah i have one video that i made like years ago and it was for this banner creator software and i still get commission you know it's like four or five dollars here or there just randomly I'm like yeah oh, i just got a commission from that that's awesome exactly. <laughs> it's like, you know, I, it's like something I don't use or promote anymore, but it's just like you said, the digital real estate, it's out there and somebody happens to be looking for it, then, you know, it shows up. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, I know talking YouTube, a lot of people get, you know, shriek up and, you know, crawl into a ball yeah. thinking about having to get on uh, video. Uh, do you have any tips for just getting through that and, getting comfortable in your own skin. Yeah. So when I first, like when I was, let's take it back to high school. Like my old videos were so bad. Like I was just so awkward on camera. I'm just like, um, okay guys, like this is the sneaker. And yeah, like I was just like really, really not enthusiastic. I wasn't like trying to sell something. I was just like, I don't really know. I'm kind of awkward. Like in high school, I was very like skinny and not really outgoing. I stayed home a lot. Um, but I was still on camera and I think the biggest tip is to actually just do it. Like you have to put your, get yourself out of that, um, out of your comfort zone. And if you, one thing I always say is like, if you make a video for a week, like a week, a video a day for seven days, you don't have to post them up, but just get comfortable with talking to your camera, get comfortable with like what you're going to say and your process. Everyone makes videos different. Everyone speaks differently. There's different things to do, but you have to kind of just put yourself out there, get yourself uncomfortable so that you can get comfortable doing um doing something like so for youtube for example so i just kept doing it and then it just became like all right whatever i'm about to make a video and i'm going to be talking to my camera for like 10 minutes and then that's it like <laughs> so i think the the most important thing is to just do it don't really think overthink it don't think about like oh people are going to think i sound stupid or like my voice isn't great for video or i don't like how i look on camera or how i sound on camera you don't have to show your face like you don't that's the beauty of things you don't have to show your face you can just talk like um and then if you want to get comfortable and like have a personal brand then i would say you know start showing your face more but if you don't really care about personal branding and you're just trying to get um money and affiliate affiliate offers to be promoted then you don't have to show your face you can just talk about the product talk about whatever you're going to talk about and you know go from there but i think the most important thing is to do it like that's with anything though like you have to just can do it like, i think that's the best the best tip i can give <laughs> nice yeah and that's like that video i was just talking about i wasn't on camera i was it was just a screen share of me actually using the software exactly. and saying hey this is how you use it here's how you can make banners with it and that's all it was i wasn't yeah. on camera or anything yeah. um and that's you know a lot of videos are like that yeah most i would say like a lot of them that are, like Especially like tutorial, like channels that do tutorials, they don't really show their faces. I mean, and there's channels out there like are dedicated to just one type of niche. Like, for example, if you have, um, I don't know, like a, a green juice niche and you're trying to promote like green juice offers, like you can just talk about the, the ingredients in the juice. You don't have to like show your face. Most people are just interested about if they're looking for is like, why, how do you make this particular green juice? For example, like they don't really care what you look like. They just want to get the information from you. Um, and that's, that's just like what the beauty is. You can do whatever you want on YouTube. You don't have to be that branding enthusiastic person. Like, Hey, what's up guys? Like you don't have to be like that. Um, you just have to have content that is relatable, but also that is good enough for people to be like, okay, um, this person seems like they know what they're talking about. I'm going to try this out especially if you're like promoting an affiliate offer, like I'm going to try this out and if it works, whatever, but it doesn't really matter because you get paid at the end of the day anyway. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's more about like content and if it's relatable to what people are searching. Nice. Yeah. You know, the second uh, kind of roadblock or hurdle I see people have when they, you talk about doing, you know, video marketing of some sort is that, Oh, I, I don't have the money for a video uh, for a setup. I need this yeah. type of camera. I need this type of lighting. I need this audio. Um, what do you you know? What do you say to that? Um, I say that's a cop out. I think <laughs> if you have a laptop, like you have a camera, and if you have um, a laptop, you have a speaker. So like maybe the audio is not going to be the best, but I mean, people at the end of the day, I mean, yes, they care about quality to some extent, but I think it's 
more more or less again like just the 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 content i mean if you're going to take youtube seriously i would suggest like getting a blue snowball and like or something similar and getting a high definition camera if you're going to be on camera but when you're just starting out you don't need to invest in those things um especially if your channel's like not that like big yet it's more about the content than the quality i would say like just pushing out content first because the more content you put out the more digital real estate you own more people are going to be searching for you in different areas of the internet and the more that your videos are going to populate for them and then at that point you you know you would have some type of um equity in the game and then you can start you know spending and investing uh on those tools but just getting started and posting so what i did though to to just kind of bring this full circle is like when i first started i didn't have a blue snowball i didn't have an hd camera like i literally just had my laptop i was just doing tutorials and i actually got a comment the other day um like from a video i did a year ago literally this guy was like dude your audio is so bad like you don't hear that echo like it's so bad and i'm like dude first of all that video was a year ago and yeah i know it's bad but that video has thirteen thousand plays and 300 likes and 85 comments of people saying oh my god this is amazing thank you for the content I can apply this to my business. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, so at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter about the quality. I mean, obviously you're gonna have some people be like, I can't listen to this because it's not HD grade or whatever. But like <laughs> most people are just going to take the content for what it is and either apply it and you know learn from it or just, you know, whatever. Just it doesn't matter about them because if your content's good, people are not going to really care about your audio or your mic. Nice. Well, yeah. Thank you for that. Um, if you are just now joining us, give us a hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, hit the hashtag replay. Hit that um, replay. And if you're getting value, get a, you know, a hashtag. Thank you, Jelani, for <laughs> all the value. <laughs> That's kind of a long hashtag, but uh, maybe just hashtag value. So, uh, right. <laughs> but, um, you know, through those for those couple of tips you mentioned uh you know content you know content is kind of king that's what matters more than getting on the camera more than the video equipment you have yeah. so how how do you structure that content is there a sp specific way that it should be structured for youtube videos or is it just kind of free flow or how's that work for you so honestly i just recently started having like a whole system like system to do this um and I learned it from Spencer Mika because he's just amazing. Uh, but um, so basically before before I learned the system though, I was just kind of just going it, like winging it and like literally be in the shower and thinking about, okay, like I wanna make this type of video just because I think it's relatable to my audience. Um, but now I have like a whole system where like I go on um, different keyword websites and look different keyword, re wait, different, tools that research keywords <laughs> um, to find like different keywords that people are actually typing in. Um, and then I can make a video of what people are actually searching, which is more like, it's just basically infinite. Like you can literally find infinite amount of keywords that people are literally searching in every single day because there's 3.5 billion people that go on Google every day. And then there's 1.5 billion people that use YouTube every day. So like, just think about that. There's like, it's just infinite. Um, so like I have a whole thing where like I have different sections so like for example if i'm making a video about jv zoo offers or click funnels or max bounty or clickbank i have these different categories and then i can go inside of i use keyword tool.io and i have a plugin that i use that i actually created called vpulse so i use both of those in conjunction and then i um will find keywords that people are actually searching for and then i can categorize them and then make a video on that but before i found that system i was just kind of winging it and um i guess I don't know, I got lucky maybe. <laughs> I think it's better to have a system in place rather than just like thinking, oh, maybe this video will hit and maybe this video will get views. Um, because honestly, if someone's not searching for the content, um, then it probably won't get views. But one thing you can do is something that I um, have been testing, it's been working well. It's like, if you learn, some, learn something um, new before it's actually hitting Google, like be for example, like um, if you know a JVZoo offer is gonna be releasing in next month, right? and you right. get like special access to it or something, then you would make a video because you know people are not searching for it yet, but that digital real estate is already there. So then once people start finding out, oh, this product is really cool, I can use it for my business, I'm gonna search and look up YouTube videos to see if there's tutorials or whatever, it's already there. Like you're already, right. you're already secured your digital real estate. So that's like one, that's where you would probably wanna make a video before um, people are searching. 
but now, yeah, so now I just, I have videos in mind that I'm going to make and uh, that people are searching every single month. And then I know like, okay, well, people are actually searching this, so I'm going to make a video on it. Um, and I think that's, it's, that's probably the best way to do it, to be honest. Nice. Now, uh, you mentioned Spencer's course and going through that. And I yeah. know one thing he mentions is that um, he has a VA helping him out doing all the, you know, the graphics, the on-page SEO. Do you do that? Do you have a VA or are you doing all that yourself or? Right now I'm doing it all myself. So I actually, this funny story, I like hired a VA like last week or like two weeks ago. And um, he like messaged me. He was like, hey, I have a family emergency. I can't do this. And like he didn't even <laughs> do anything. So I was like, really, dude? Like I just went through this whole hiring process. So now I'm like going and reevaluating like what I want to happen in my, uh, or like where I'm going to go. Um, so right now I'm looking for a blogging VA so then I can make blogs based on the videos that I make. Um, so I actually learned this from uh, Miles Beckler. So I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he has this thing where like he has, he did a YouTube video a day for 90 days. So like literally he made a video a day, but also he turned those videos into blog posts. And then he turned those, um, I think he also turned those uh videos into the podcast so like he calls it the three pillars of content and that's what i'm trying to emulate is like all right i have a youtube video now this youtube video has a blog post which also helps with um ranking because if a video is on a blog post it just makes google thinks it's like oh this is cool like this is something that people are searching for um so it's like all like a big circle if you will like so the video goes to a blog post the blog post and video turns into a podcast eventually i'm not too sure if i want to do the podcast portion of it but definitely youtube to blog um that's definitely happening so like i'm trying to hire a va for that part and then i'll probably hire a, v a video va um hopefully sooner than later but i just got to find someone that's kind of cool i actually messaged spencer's va <laughs> uh, he doesn't even know that but i messaged his va because i i did some research and i just found her name and then um she was just like i'm too busy so that kind of yeah. <laughs> i'm sure she's Probably got plenty of work to do. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I got to find someone on my own, but that's that's soon to come. So uh, you mentioned that 90 day challenge. I know you currently have a 30 day challenge going on in your group. Yeah. So this is. Yeah. So this is my second 30 day challenge, actually. So the first one I did, like when I first started this channel or like in the middle of the start, because this channel is not that old. It's like maybe a year old. And in between, like I actually stopped making videos um, for like a like three months or something because i was just i don't know i just stopped making videos but now i'm like back into it. i love it um yeah so the first time i did a video a day literally for 30 days and then that's when i actually saw my channel like explode like i had like i probably had like 300 subs when i started this challenge and i made a video a day for 30 days and in between that process like two months later i just started like it just started magically just growing 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 and i think it's because like when you start putting out content at that level um, like I said, digital real estate plays a part where you have different videos where people are searching different things. So they're going to find different videos, obviously, on your channel. Um, and then when you say things like, hey, if you like this video, subscribe, um, which is really, really important. Um, we can talk about that. But you want to always say, like, subscribe to my channel if you like this content, which really helps with obviously growing your subscribers. So I think after that 30 day challenge, that's when I was like, well, this is serious. Like, that's when I started actually seeing. Um, the profits, like people actually clicking on my links and actually buying things and like people reaching out to me um, to get coaching and random people like this is the top of, I think one of the top, um, I forget what his name is. He's a really huge um, guy. I forget which, which area he's in, but he like needed a chat bot and he like found my video, but he didn't have time to actually do it because he was running like something in like the next five minutes or something. <laughs> he, literally, he literally found me on Facebook, messaged me. He was like, I'll give you five, like how much does it cost for you to do this for me? Like, and it's, it was so simple, but I was like, honestly, like the time that you want me to do this, it, I would need $500. And he literally was just like, fine, like here, take it. Like, I just need nice. you to do <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's like the, the power of YouTube is like people finding you rather than you finding people and establishing that digital real estate so that people just continually find you. And then you can kind of offer either a affiliate offers or just different things like free courses and um, get them on your list and promote other affiliate offer offers via email marketing or people asking for coaching or brands. Even like I have people literally in my inbox saying, Hey, like we'll give you access to this free product um, or free software if you just do a video or just like talk about it. And I have, I have like three different brands that have done that. And I, you know, I don't have to pay anything. It's just, it's cool. Yeah. Um, 
and I'm not even that, my channel's not even that big yet. Like, that's what's so cool about it. I was like, I don't have that many subs, but I'm still getting um, opportunities that wouldn't have been there if I didn't have made a video seven months ago, right? So, right. So, so you would say, don't get discouraged if you put your first video up or your second video up and you get no. zero views because it may take seven yeah. months before somebody sees it. <laughs> yeah, it might take seven months, but the thing is, it's like, all right, that video took seven months, but maybe the, the fifth video you made took five months, right? Sorry, right. the train. Um, uh, or like, but as you continue to make content, it's going to just keep on growing. Like people are just going to keep finding you. And the more people find you, the better, uh, or the more YouTube thinks, oh, this person actually is knowledgeable and they will show your video, um, which is a whole different subject about like SEO and like how to actually do that. Um, but I think, again, it's like that, that was the point where I was like, a video a day is really, really helping me grow my channel. So now I'm doing another 30 day challenge. Um, I'm on day like today's day 16. I have to film a video. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing another 30 day challenge. And again, it's growing my channel. Like, and, um, I don't have the link up here. I will find it and I'll put a link to your group down in the uh, comments down below so, so people can uh, join your group and follow along with that challenge. Um, yep. see how it works, maybe implement it themselves. I know uh, I have yet to start it, so. Yeah, it's all right, I mean. I'm gonna slap my hand on that, but it is something that I also wanna do. Yeah, I've been getting, doing more and more videos, but not consistently. So yeah. I think doing that, you know, one a day and just trying to get consistent with it would be a huge help for me, so. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I think, think about that. Well, I would say like a lot of people are like, I don't have time to make a video. Like I don't have time to do this. So one thing that you can do, and I learned this from, I forget who I learned it from, um, either Spencer or Ping Jun, right? I think that's his name. Yeah. Um, you, you film, you pre-record the video. So like I've done this before this week and the last week I'm kind of like just doing so many things that I didn't have time. but. So you take a day out of the week. So like Sunday for me is the, like my day where I would film seven videos for the week instead of like trying to film a video every single day. So then you film a video seven day. And this is where the, the, the organizational sheet um, comes into play because then you already have, you can pick seven videos easily from that sheet because you already did the research um, mm -hmm. and then you just film seven videos on Sunday. It might take, an, it probably takes like two hours of your day, but then you don't have to worry about making a video on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you just have to worry about scheduling them and you're good to go. So that's another tip is like pre-record videos. Um, and yeah, so then you don't have to keep doing it. Just out of curiosity, do you change your shirt in between each one or? <laughs> so, so the ideal is to actually do that. But here's my thing is like my personal brand, like, I don't know if you been to my YouTube channel, but like my icons, like me with like, it's like a, cartoon of me with a white t-shirt right so now my branding is just going to be me make in white t-shirt so like every single video i don't have to change videos now because my icon is that like right. <laughs> add on with my glasses and a white t-shirt so that's another thing i'm doing is like improving my branding um and like the little things it's just like the little things that i'm trying to do because i'm i am taking this more seriously now um and the more seriously you take it the more you know things you're going to either buy or look into in terms of branding um if that's the route you want to go to but yeah, so yeah, no, not anymore. I'm just using, I got white t-shirts now. Right. <laughs> That's your, your Steve Jobs tur uh, turtleneck. It's yeah. The white t-shirt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, Johnny, I wanted to thank you for jumping on here and talking a bit today about YouTube. Uh, if you got some value, hashtag value. Um, if you want to learn some more from Jelani, he does have a free YouTube course. And I'll put that. It's yeah. a, Y-T-F-B yeah. dot rocks. Dot rocks, because YouTube for beginners rocks. It's a all. It's like a comprehensive course. So if you don't okay. like, if you don't know about YouTube or don't know where to start, a lot of people may get you know think it's too daunting for them. Um, I made this whole comprehensive course of like kind of holding your hand on how to start a YouTube channel from scratch. So you know, getting a Gmail account, making that link up to YouTube, and then setting up your YouTube account, and kind of just taking you step by step. Um, through that process so then you can you don't have to worry about oh i need to find out how to start a youtube channel no you don't because i give you a free resource to do that nice awesome well thank you for that i got that link down so if you're interested in morning morning learning <laughs> more about youtube and how you can uh, siphon some of that what was it one point 
5 billion. Every day, 1.5 billion people are on yeah. YouTube. So cool stat. So by the year, I believe 2020, more people will be on watching YouTube than they will watch TV. Yeah. I, During like the nighttime, I think the time between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. is like where most people watch TV. In 2020, that, that time period would be like owned by YouTube. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. My kids don't ever watch TV. They don't, you know, they could care less as long as they have an iPad or their phone near them. They'll yeah. be on YouTube. So exactly. It's crazy. This is no better time. There's no better time. You are YouTube allows you to be the producer, the the star of your own show. Like it's super cool. I love it. Nice. Awesome. Well, thanks once again. Uh, I appreciate you jumping on here. No problem. Uh, I will see you around. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, sure. Kind, of, kind of hard to avoid each other. So <laughs> yeah, we're in the same circles, like literally everywhere. So <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for joining uh, anybody watching. Thank you for joining us and uh, give Jelani a big thanks down below for helping us out. And we will talk to you guys soon. See ya. See ya.